Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Lynn Taggart and I'm a realtor here in central Oklahoma and I make these videos to help folks thinking about relocating here. I help them try and learn a little bit more about this place I've called home my entire life. Now just recently I made this video here to help folks, specifically those in California, understand how California and Oklahoma differ when it comes to some of the things that Californians deal with daily. Things like crime, homelessness, high taxes, suffocating small business regulation, liberal politics, sky-high cost of living, and stratospheric housing costs. Many folks on both coasts, not just California, have had enough and are looking to make a move out of their state. Hey, maybe even to little old Oklahoma. How about that? Are you one of them? If the answer is yes and you've zeroed in on Oklahoma, that begs the next question. Where in Oklahoma do you want to move to? Well, the obvious places everyone zeroes in on first are the two largest cities, Oklahoma City and Tulsa. So in this video, we'll take a hard look at both places and compare the two head to head, looking at things like crime, cost of living, which will include housing prices, culture, attractions and civic improvements, and a highly subjective category, scenic beauty. We'll see if one city clearly knocks out the other in this head to head competition. Now before we ring the bell and get this contest started, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons and the little notification bell as well to let the YouTube algorithm know you're enjoying the content I'm putting out weekly. It also helps keep me motivated to continue making these little jewels. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Which city do you prefer, Oklahoma City or Tulsa? I'm curious what you have to say. Now if you're ready to make the move to Oklahoma, or even if you're still just thinking about it, reach out to me via phone, text, or email and let's connect. I'd love to meet you and help you make this move as smooth as possible. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have, and I'm sure you may have a lot of them. I know I would. All right, let's talk about the two contenders first and get the tail of the tape for each. So in one corner, we have Oklahoma City, the capital of Oklahoma, which ranks as the 20th largest city in the United States. Oklahoma City proper's population is approximately 700,000. But when you count the surrounding suburbs, uh, circled here shown on the map, Oklahoma City's metro population swells to nearly 1.5 million folks, according to the 2020 census. In terms of sheer footprint, the Oklahoma City metro area is really spread out, with the city limits encompassing 620 square miles, making it the eighth largest city in the United States in terms of physical size. Now, Oklahoma City came into existence as a result of the Oklahoma land run of 1889, and amazingly, get this, the town went from a population of zero to 10,000 in less than 24 hours. How about that? Fast forward 134 years and that growth continues today. The Oklahoma City metro area added 172,000 new residents from 2010 to 2020 and grew 250% more than Tulsa in that decade, making it the sixth fastest growing U.S. city in that span. Now in the other corner we have Tulsa, the smaller of the two cities. Tulsa ranks as the 47th largest city in the United States. Tulsa proper's population is a little over 400,000, but when you count the suburbs up in Tulsa, also circled and shown on this map here, Tulsa's metro population jumps to approximately 1 million folks. In terms of sheer footprint, the Tulsa area is much smaller than Oklahoma City, one-third the size, encompassing only 200 square miles. Tulsa was incorporated in 1898 on the banks of the Arkansas River on land previously controlled by the Muscogee tribe. Round number one, crime. So let's first look at how the two compare regarding crime. Now, despite having a population 30% smaller than Oklahoma City, Tulsa actually has significantly more crime than Oklahoma City. Tulsa has 20% more violent crimes than Oklahoma City and 24% more property crimes than OKC. Incidentally, when comparing the murder rates of the 50 largest U.S. cities, Tulsa came in at number 17, with Oklahoma City coming in at number 32. In fact, in 2020, Tulsa recorded 72 murders, giving it the second highest violent crime rate in the state. And property crimes were also high, coming in at number two in the state. Now, why the higher incidence of crime? Well, perhaps it has to do with the fact that while its population is 30% smaller than Oklahoma City's, its actual footprint is 67% smaller than Oklahoma City's, resulting in Tulsa having a much higher population density than Oklahoma City. And downtown Tulsa in particular is notorious for being a hotbed for crime. So round number one winner, uh, it's gotta be Oklahoma City. Okay, on to round number two, cost of living, including housing. Now this one's a lot closer and there's not a lot of difference between the two. 
According to bestplaces.com, pretty much across the board, Oklahoma City is slightly more expensive than Tulsa. Food and groceries, well, that's a wash. There's no real difference. Healthcare costs, Oklahoma City is 2.7% more expensive. Utilities, Oklahoma City is 1.6% more expensive. Transportation, uh, here's where it does differ. Oklahoma City is 6.5% more expensive. Now, this one doesn't surprise me at all. Remember how I said how spread out Oklahoma City was compared to Tulsa? Three times the footprint of Tulsa? So being spread out like that means you'll have to drive longer distances in Oklahoma City and burn more fuel as a result. Housing is also cheaper in Tulsa. So the median home price right now, as we speak, in Tulsa is $220,000. And it's $255,000 in Oklahoma City, 16% more expensive. So let's face it, eh, it was pretty close, but round two, the winner goes to Tulsa. All right, let's go on to round number three. Cultural attractions and civic improvements. So Tulsa has always been known as the art capital of the Sooner State and the more affluent little brother of the two. Given its rich, literally, history, where it was once known as the oil capital of the world, with the discovery of oil in 1905 with the Ida Glen No. 1 well in Glenpool, Oklahoma, which is just a few miles south of Tulsa. Now that affluence has resulted in a town with a distinct cultural heritage. The Philbrook and Gilcrease Museums and the Tulsa Arts District are clear examples of that. Other notable Tulsa attractions include Kane's Ballroom, where thanks to Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys, Western Swing Music got its start. There's also the Gathering Place, a 66-acre park on the Arkansas River, which features a skate park, a, a basketball courts, a beach, walking trails, and three, believe it or not, three restaurants. It's also the Woody Guthrie Center, honoring the Oklahoma native. The newly opened BOK Center in downtown Tulsa and the iconic 75-foot-tall Golden Driller statue on the Tulsa Fairgrounds. Tulsa has its history and charm and feels more like a southern city akin to, say, a Birmingham, Alabama or Memphis, Tennessee. Now, by contrast, Oklahoma City feels like a laid-back western city on the rise, um, a smaller Dallas in, in many ways, if you will, much more of a metropolis than Tulsa. The revitalization of Oklahoma City in recent years has been nothing short of spectacular, beginning with the birth of Bricktown, a formerly run-down warehouse district just east of downtown, now bustling with activity with new restaurants, shops, and hotels situated around the anchor attraction, the Bricktown Canal, which was modeled after the Riverwalk in San Antonio, Texas. There's also the new Boathouse District on the Oklahoma River, which is, by the way, the training site for the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic rowing and canoeing kayaking teams. Also downtown is the new Oklahoma City Convention Center and across the street, Scissortail Park, all in the shadow of the unique, iconic Skydance Bridge, which spans I-40. It's also a new streetcar system serving key locations in the downtown area. Very handy. There's also the Devon Energy Tower at 50 stories tall. It's the tallest building in the state of Oklahoma. And not to be outdone, the urban renewal has also extended to the Oklahoma City Airport, also known as Will Rogers World Airport which underwent an extensive remodel in 2021. Notable attractions in Oklahoma City include the Oklahoma City National Memorial, which was the site of the horrific 1995 bombing, the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Center, the state capitol, Stockyard City, where you can see real cowboys and pick up duds so you can look just like them too, and the newly appointed First Americans Museum, also on the Oklahoma River. Now to me, this one's not even close. Round number three, the winner is Oklahoma City. Round number four, sports. Now, this one may not matter to some people, but hey, it does to me, and I'm the host, and I get to pick the categories, and I love sports. So here goes. Tulsa is home to the University of Tulsa Golden Hurricane, which has D1 sports and football and basketball. There's also Oral Roberts University, which also plays D1 basketball. Tulsa is also home to the Tulsa Drillers, a minor league AA affiliate of the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Drillers play their games at One Oak Field in downtown Tulsa, which opened in 2010. Now, if you're a golfer, Tulsa has an abundance of great golf courses, with the crown jewel being Southern Hills Country Club, a private course with a long and distinguished history, hosting a number of high-profile PGA events over the years, including the 2001 U.S. Open, the 2007 PGA Championship, and the 2022 PGA Championship. Unfortunately, for us Duffers, it's a private course and it's not open to the public. Now, turning our attention to the Oklahoma City area, things get more interesting. Located 30 minutes just south of Oklahoma City in adjacent Norman is home to my alma mater, the University of Oklahoma Sooners, 
which boasts a rich football history spanning over 70 years and includes seven national titles and seven Heisman Trophy winners. Football is not the only championship program at OU, by the way, with the OU women winning the college softball national crown for the last three consecutive years. And of note, Hall of Fame Stadium near the Oklahoma City Zoo in Oklahoma City has hosted the NCAA Women's College World Series for the last several years, and it was the site of OU's three recent championships. But the biggest differentiator of all is that Oklahoma City is also home to the NBA's Oklahoma City Thunder, who play their games at the Paycom Center in downtown Oklahoma City. The Thunder burst onto the scene when they debuted in 2008 after moving from Seattle. And the Thunder this year are loaded with fresh young talent. And by the way, attending a Thunder game, it is always a real blast. It's a lot of fun. Oklahoma City is also home to the Oklahoma City Dodgers, who, like Tulsa, are also a AAA minor league affiliate of the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Oklahoma City Dodgers play their games at the award-winning Chickasaw Bricktown Ballpark, which opened to glowing reviews back in 1998 as one of the finest minor league stadiums in the United States. When it comes to golf, not to be outdone by Tulsa, neighboring Edmond, Oklahoma, is home to Oak Tree National Golf Club, which, like Southern Hills, is a famous course with an equally impressive resume. Hosting the 1984 U.S. Amateur Championship, the 1988 PGA Championship, the 2006 Senior PGA Championships, and the 2014 U.S. Senior Open. It too, like Southern Hills, is a private course and not open to the public. Rats. With Oklahoma City being home to the Oklahoma City Thunder and OU Championship Sports in nearby Norman, this one's an easy one. Winner is Oklahoma City in round four. And now we come to round five, Scenic Beauty. Of all the categories, this one is the most highly subjective of them all. Tulsa is located what we call green country here in Oklahoma, and for good reason. It's got a ton of trees, not to mention beautiful green rolling hills, all nestled on the bank of the meandering Arkansas River with a thick urban tree canopy all over town. Now, Oklahoma City, eh, it's quite a bit different. It's situated on a wide open flat plain next to the newly renamed Oklahoma River. Not much to look at, admittedly. Oklahoma City does have some wooded areas on the eastern side of the town, but few, if any, trees elsewhere. It has a sprawling, kind of utilitarian feel to it as a result. That said, this one's easy. Tulsa claims the crown here. Winner of round five is Tulsa, Oklahoma. So there you have it, folks. On my card, Oklahoma City wins by a 3-2 decision. It's definitely not by a knockout. So does that surprise you? Comment down below and let me know which one you think is the clear choice. Curious what you have to say. Now, it used to be that the two cities acted kind of like squabbling siblings. With its culture and affluence, Tulsa was always perceived to be a little snooty. And Oklahoma City, well, let's just say we were known to be a little rough around the edges. Now, to be blunt, Tulsa was culture and Oklahoma City was cowboy. Now, those distinctions over time have now just about disappeared. Both are great places to live, but Oklahoma City, in my opinion, has more going for it at present and is undergoing a real renaissance right now, given all that's happening around town. But to each his own. Tulsa just might be more your style. I'm sure you'd be happy either place, especially if you're coming from either the west or east coast. Lord knows these areas have their problems, no doubt. So if you're thinking about making the move to Oklahoma, as I said previously, give me a call, send me a text or email, and let's talk about it. I would love to meet you and answer all of your questions. Also, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notifications bell to be alerted when I put out new content. I try to do it about every week. So that's it for now. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.